that one person back there is like, my name is Julio. <laughs> yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into Romeo and Juliet. Now, uh, before we hop into it, some preface, right? I don't know why it's called preface or why it's spelled preface, but it's preface, whatever. Um, I'm a little under the weather. Okay, uh, however, I'm not going to let that stop me from watching some good movies because I feel like I was going to be doing that anyway. So if I'm a little bit <laughs> cuckoo, if I'm a little bit crazier in these videos, just know I'm embracing the chaos. All right, I'm embracing the chaos and I'm just going to go with it and I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to enjoy myself even when I'm not feeling 100%. All right, so if you guys wondering why I might be a little bit unhinged this time around, that's why, you know, now that you know, we can all move forward. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Guys, I haven't read or, um, yeah, or, or seen anything of like Romeo and Juliet in a minute. It's been a while. I haven't seen this movie, but I've obviously seen other iterations of Romeo and Juliet and then I also read multiple iterations of Romeo and Juliet. However, the play itself, I just, I don't, man, I don't know. All right, I, I know there's probably a lot of stuff that's happening, okay? I know there's probably gonna be a whole lot of things like, oh yeah, there's that, there's this, and I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna remember some things that I remember from school and all that good stuff, but guys, I, I'm not gonna be an encyclopedia when it comes to, you know, the context of the actual uh, source material of Romeo and Juliet. All I know is that they end up dying, right? <laughs> that's what, that's all I know, man. That's all I know. So, um, when it comes to the filmmaking, I'm going to primarily look at that and, um, you know, the storytelling, obviously the movie, you know, I want to be able to like see what this movie is about. Um, but yeah, when it comes to like a lot of the context and the play area, apologies if i'm just not up to speed um or i'm just not really catching what's really happening or even if i come off as like super surprised because quite frankly i just don't remember much about the play all right um i feel like i could tell you more about odysseus and like you know those type of things um more so than romeo and juliet but with that being said that's okay because you guys can fill in the blanks hopefully um we are going to be focusing, uh, the, at least on the topic of filmmaking, on drama. Drama and romance. That's kind of like what we're looking at. Or it could be drama, you know, and romance. You know, it could be uh, either one of those things. And so the next couple of months, the films that we're going to be watching is going to be focused on that. Uh, I feel like drama, uh, especially romance, is low-key one of the more older literature um foundations of not even just filmmaking but just in art in general you know you got plays that focus on tragedies you know tragedy is a form of drama tragedy is also a form of romance in its sense and i love how or I, at least i found fascinating how um drama and romance is just the more of the older um sorry again about my voice um is, is more of the older uh, uh, pillars of writing, of storytelling. Uh, not even, again, not even just with filmmaking, but again, they go hand in hand, you know? Um, you know, we're going all the way back, even if we go all the way, all the way back, right? With oral tradition, right? Um, and, you know, uh, Odysseus that I just mentioned, right? Um, there's drama, there's romance. Romance and drama just go hand in hand when it comes to a lot of tragedies and a lot of stories that probably weren't even pressed on paper, weren't even pressed on rock. <laughs> I'm not sure what, I guess people were probably like, you know, slapping, slapping their stories on rock, <laughs> rock tablets, right? Um, but it's, it's even prior to that. And primarily, you know, they're used to create lessons. They're used to create um, inspiration, maybe hope, culture, religion. You know, these are things, again, they're very, 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 um, I don't want to say just ancient, but uh, 
ingrained within the foundation of just the human experience so it's really cool being able to focus on something like this and um also give it the proper recognition because i feel like compared to a lot of the other quote unquote like filmmaking elements or storytelling elements if you want to you know stretch it out a little bit more um drama and romance weirdly enough nowadays gets looked over a little bit um and I find that to be very fascinating. Uh, there's nothing good about that. There's nothing bad about that. It's just something that I find very interesting. Not to say that we don't have any romance films or drama films that are coming out. We always do. But the fact that it's such a staple and, like I said, human nature um, and just the human culture of storytelling and how over the time it kind of just morphed into now we got like subgenres like sci-fi that kind of use romance and drama in its own way but it's not at the forefront it's more hidden within the context and something else is more prominent i don't know i find that to be so fascinating and if anything just goes to show you just how infinite this thing we call life and storytelling and just everything wrapped up around that truly is i think it's really really cool so i'm very very excited to jump into this film and see how they implement drama how they implement romance and how you know this uh ancient uh pillar of storytelling is probably still not even probably most definitely still the pillar of uh storytelling for a reason you know there's, there's definitely for a reason so uh, i'm excited i hope that you guys are as well too um, and again, if you guys want to be able to, you know, support this channel, the best way to do it is by checking out the Patreon. <coughs> you guys see I'm dying, but we out here, okay? You can also support the channel by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. At the end of the day, you don't have to do any of those things. I hope that you can just sit back, relax, and get your popcorn and snacks. You can listen to me die for free. <laughs> As we hop into Romeo and Juliet. Again, guys, if you want to be able to hear and see everything and all the things that i'm saying and looking at check this out you can go to the patreon you can sync up your copy of the film with mine and you can do exactly that that's all that's all you gotta do it's very seamless it's just that i'm gatekeeping it <laughs> there's a there's a patreon gatekeep <laughs> which but their children's end not could remove is now the two hours traffic of our stage. I think that is so cool, man. That is so cool. Also, you know how ambitious you got to be to take something like Romeo and Juliet and make a modern spin to it and not hope to get crucified? That's kind of cool. Shout out to, you know, the people who worked on this. Just for the fact of doing that. A pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. <laughs> Yo, this is... <laughs> what the hell? This is so cool. What the... <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> the music is going hard. I love it. I'm really excited. What the hell? A dog of the house of Capulet moves me! Oh man, are they gonna be speaking in that in that like cadence as well too? I hope so. That would be so awesome. I'm loving this already. I know I'm talking like crazy. I I apologize, but I did not know that this film was just gonna smack me with coolness. This was this was totally unexpected. That's so awesome, man. <laughs> do you quarrel, sir? Quarrel, son? No, son. But if you do, sir, for you, I serve as good a man as you. No, better. Uh, uh. I love this. This is so freaking awesome. I am so surprised, and I'm so happy they're doing this. Whoa, by a gas station? Oh, this is gonna be bad, bro. This turned into a damn western. How many genres did this just like blend itself into? This is so freaking cool, bro. What the hell? I was not expecting this. Oh man, but I'm so happy. Quiet of our streets. If 
ever you disturb our streets again, your lives shall pay the forfeit of the peace. I gotta mention too, the editing I feel like is so perfect for this because it just gives not only style, but I feel like it it just gives a lot more life to the to the actual scenes. At thy good heart's oppression. Farewell, my cuz. Soft, I will go along, and if you leave me so, you do me wrong. Hmm. <laughs> I love this. I love this. I seriously love this. <laughs> I I cannot believe just how damn cool this is. Holy crap. This is ambitious as hell, and I love that. And they're doing such a great job. Whose merit most shall be. Come, go with me. Tell me in sadness, who is it that you love? In sadness, cousin, I do love a woman. I See what I'm saying? I love the editing. The editing style is just so entertaining. And it, I feel like it, it makes the, the actual dialogue that much more entertaining to listen to. Because I don't know about you, but just hearing it, it's sometimes difficult to, to visualize. I don't have that problem now, but back then it, it was a little difficult. You gotta call her forth to me. I bad her comb, God forbid! <laughs> Julia is <laughs> in the void. <laughs> His love. A man, young lady. Lady, such a man as all the world. Why, he's a man of what? Verona's summer hath not such a flower. Bro, she kind of looks like... She kind of looks like Zendaya. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> too rude, too boisterous, and it pricks like thorn. If love be rough with you, be rough with love. Prick love for pricking and you beat love. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I love this modern, this modern emergence. This is really cool. I, I am so locked in and on board and immersed within this world. And usually that's difficult when it comes to just Shakespeare. But I think they're doing such a phenomenal job. A good carriage! This is she! This is Even the sound effects, man. Even the sound design in this film is just locked in. <laughs> I love that. Tiniest things have so much detail. I love that. Just goes to show you that they have a lot of faith in this adaptation. Wow. Oh, oh man. That entire build-up, that entire sequence right there was beautiful. That was beautiful, especially with all the matching cuts of the swirly little thingy, fire thingy majiggies. <laughs> Damn, she is killing it. <laughs> My goodness. This thing is just oozing, <clears throat> oozing with style. Damn, this scene and and just with the sound behind them, girl sing her heart out right there. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm not trying to like sound cheesy or anything. This is really, really this is really cool. Well from all this town here in my house to him disparagement. Therefore be patient. Take no note of him. Hmm, take no note of him. <laughs> Damn. This lady is killing it. <laughs> she knows it. She's like, see how I do that with my voice? <laughs> is Holy Palmer's kiss. Have not saints lips? And Holy Palmer's too? I, a pilgrim, lips that they must use. Could y'all imagine the amount of fumbles that would have, that would be taking place if we had to still talk like this? <laughs> or maybe, maybe there wouldn't be a lot of fumbles. Because poetry is beautiful. But how many of y'all can come up with it on the spot? <laughs> I can freestyle. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to humiliate myself on camera. I have my lips, isn't that they have took? Sin for my lips? Oh, trespass sweetly urge, give me my sin again. He's like, give me that again. 
I like that sinful sh right there. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Gangs and sh man. <laughs> love isn't going to stop me. I cross borders with love. Too bad it's going to result in the death of you, my friend. For which thy does not quiveth under death. Draw, but this intrusion shall. Seeming sweet, convert to bitter as gall. Yeah, bro's villainous, man. <laughs> he's, he's just, yeah, he's just wants, he wants conflict, he wants violence. If there's love, there's hate, and that guy loves to hate, bruh. Oh, Romeo, where for out thou Romeo? Right here, if. <laughs> they do see thee, they will murder thee. I have not his cloak to hide me from their eyes. He's like, girl, you don't understand this story. You think murder is gonna stop me from loving you? Gotta say, one of the better kisses, one of the more normal kisses I've seen in cinema <laughs> back in the day. That's because of regulations. Okay, I think there was like a like a some type of regulation that you couldn't like do something like that. That's why they'd be eating each other's faces in older films. <laughs> no offense, y'all, but goddamn. But love from love. School with heavy looks. I love that shot of just like tracking him, just hanging above his gaze. That was a really fun shot right there as he was stepping away. And not so good, but strain from that fair use. Revolts from true birth, stumbling on abuse. Virtue itself turns vice. That that quick shot of his back with the cross after he said that. And medicine power. For this being smelt. I don't know. I feel like that was a that was a good play. I like that. I like that. Thy love did read by rote that could not spell. How they're able to just blend scenes together, like the transitions between, you know, soundtracks as they blur themselves in. And then you got the editing to complement that. It just makes the transitions between I guess different points on, you know, a play. Man, it's so creative. I, I love this so much. <laughs> Damn, this is ambitious. I'm having a lot of fun with it. One through the ear with a love song. <laughs> the very pin of his heart cleft with a blind go boy's uh, butt shack. <laughs> and is he a man to encounter Tibble? Why? I love how they are interacting with each other while the dialogue is going. Again, it just makes it all so engaging. I feel like they're just taking everything and just amplifying it, giving it action and a modern spin. And it just makes everything engaging. I'm so much more locked in to the dialogue. Here comes Romeo. Romeo! Romeo! <laughs> You have made a simple choice. You know not how to choose a man. Romeo. <laughs> she's having so much fun in this role. And she's killing it. I, I love her character. <laughs> There's so many good characters in this in this ser in this series. In this film. Lord how my head aches. What a head have I? Oh, my mm -hmm. back. <laughs> I can <remember. laughs> Lauren said. There stays a husband to make you a wife. <laughs> They're great. They're great. I love I love their scenes. I hope we get more scenes with those two. That was really, really fun. You can feel the joy. And if we meet, we shall not escape a brawl. For now, these hot days is the mad blood stirring. Nigga, we the cat! I love when they choose to get these very, very extreme close-ups 
where the character's face consumes the entire screen. I love it. Our consortist with Romeo? Consort. He said, did you? What? You better, know, you better keep my man's name out your mouth. <laughs> I love it. Everybody's about the action. I love it. This is so damn awesome. <laughs> Villain am I not? Therefore, farewell. I see thou knowest me not. He's like, man, I'm not trying to fight you. I just got married, bro. I'm in love. I'm trying to love you, man. I love when they punch in close. Damn. They got my boy. No. Twill sir, ask for me tomorrow, and you shall find me a grave man. <laughs> Damn, yeah, he knows he's got, dude. He's like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have gotten cut there. Jesus. Plague for both your houses. Damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's like, he, I don't want to say he cursed both of them, but let's just say a storm is here, man. Love that they held on to that shot right there. Man. Again, with the music, dude. Jesus. They got Amadeus up in here. <laughs> I'm, I, guys, I'm floored by just this adaptation so far. Gentle knight, come, loving black proud knight, give me my. It's like a war between love and hate. It's so well captured in this spin. It's the night before some festival to an impatient child that hath new robes and may not wear them. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah my god homie's like yeah you just killed my best friend bro i try to give you peace but now i'm gonna turn you to pieces bro must go with him either that or i or both must go with him Woo! damn he's saying that with a soul damn Oh my goodness, the rage. Whoa. Whoa, I got chills. Damn, Leo. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Man. You felt it. You can feel the immediate just, just, I don't want to say regret, but damn. Knowing that he just locked himself away from that. Unthankfulness. This is dear mercy, and thou seest it not. Mm. Hence. Yo, even the kid got a pistol, bro. I Everybody is strapped in this film, man. I kind of love it. Because <laughs> essentially, instead of the swords, everybody's strapped. Reconcile your friends, beg pardon of the prince, and call thee back with 20, 100,000 times more joy than thou went forth in lamentation. Woo, I got chills. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness, man. Wow. Again, the music is accompanying this entire ensemble it's it's really it's oh man it's such a great spin on this i am again floored by what i'm watching here <laughs> i did not expect any of this thy name when i thy three hours wife have mangled it but why for villain didst thou kill my cousin because your cousin rightfully so he was a dick if we can be a little honest here you know i'm sorry to not be as holy and romantic but f your cousin rightfully i feel like if you have this lady singing in the background giving you a soundtrack it is impossible to fumble i need this girl constantly singing whenever i am locked in oh man dude (laughs) 
Holy hell, dog. God, Jesus. <laughs> God, just in case you guys are wondering, are you listening to the dialogue? I can literally probably hear your thoughts with these. That was loud, man. Golly. Bro, you got no... <laughs> that always happens. It's a shared experience. <laughs> He's damn there. He's damn there off the bed. <laughs> you got all that bet? <laughs> why are you off it? I don't know why you girls do that. It could be a king size bed. And I'm hanging off the, <laughs> the freaking edge point of it. Paris at St. Peter's Church shall happily make thee there a joyful bride. <laughs> I don't know how you could look at your daughter's face and be like, okay with that. <laughs> She's like, <"Yeah>, no. No. <laughs> I will not get married to Paul Rudd. <laughs> How now, wife? Have you delivered to her our decree? Aye, sir. But she will none. She gives you thanks. I will say, though, the mother is giving such a subtly great, uh, great performance. Because you could tell that she wants to speak up for her daughter. Bank, starve, die in the streets. Mm. We think you, I am not before swag! Damn. Wow. Wow. Damn, that scene was crazy. Goodness gracious, man. For I'll not speak a word. Do as thou wilt, for I have done with thee. Damn. Yep, you can see it. I was just saying that too. There's evidence of the prison that she's in she's so she's so helpless in her own mind that she can't even she can't even help her daughter and you can see it in the performance that's why i mentioned it it's very subtle oh if he did not your first is dead again i love that this story just shows the prison both men and women can become not only to love, but through circumstances of environment. Tragedy, man, I'm telling you. A really good story shows the tragedy between both realms. And adieu, and keep this holy kiss. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> if, any, if a girl looks like that, <laughs> getting kissed, Brings me past the compass of she does not want you. <laughs> she does not want you, bro. God damn. As from a pleasant sleep, in the meantime, against thou shalt awake, shall Romeo by my letters know our drift, and hither shall he come that very night. Not only this is an awesome shot, but this is an awesome character. This guy is just like, hey, I'm trying to help y'all. See, my brain is like, yeah, I want to drink that. That looks cool. Not knowing that I'm about to pass out for 20 hours. <laughs> I'm about to have the best sleep of my life. <laughs> yeah, missed opportunity there. <laughs> missed opportunity. I kind of wish... Just a little bit more people just kind of knew about the plan. Hindsight will give you that. Juliet! Juliet! <laughs> that one person back there is like, My name is Julio. <laughs> Damn, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And, of course, we've seen this visual before, as it was foreshadowed to us in one of those images. Man, that is really, really beautiful. How can you not just immerse yourself within that scene? 
when you have something like this swarming around you. This is really something. Hmm. And a slow realization that he sees his girl uh, lying up there. Just the way his face just released that and it just became gentle. Man, I'm telling you, I love these close-ups. I, I really do love them. They say a lot. To engrossing death. Romeo. <clears throat> Damn. That's crazy. Do you know how... God, man, I would feel so salty. I would... This would... This is the saltiest death ever. If I can be honest with you. I've seen a lot of death. This is the saltiest one. Whew, that tear. That tear was on some freaking Hollywood-ish right there. Damn. So is that tear. Everybody got a nice little Hollywood tear. I love it. Damn. Damn. Guys, this was incredible. <laughs> what the? F wow. I love that we are lingering upside down. It's almost like a reverse image. Mm. Yeah, the editing in this film is diabolical. Oh my goodness. Wow. Mm. Ah, ah, punishing! Man, every time he gets to say his lines, it just sends shivers. Everyone's performance was top tier. Oh my goodness. I feel like you really get to reach that point because of Shakespeare's writing. And this of Juliet. Wow. Whew, I know that theater must have been quiet. That's a lot to take in. I mean, there's a reason why these stories stick with us and they stay with us no matter what era. My goodness. Guys, and that is the end to Romeo and Juliet. All right, everybody, we just got done. Romeo and Juliet, 1996, y'all. This was... Uh, this was out a day before I was born. You know, I'm a 97s kid. Guys, this... <laughs> this was PG-13 too. I love that. Uh, <laughs> this was really, really, really surprising in the best way possible. I don't think I could have said it any more than I already did during the actual uh, you know, playing of this film. But there are so many things that... I am floored by, you know, obviously the adaptation, first off, prior to even beginning the film, this was ambitious. This is such an ambitious task, you know, I mean, if you're touching anything with Shakespeare, you're already tapping into some, uh, some, 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 some depth, you know what I'm saying? You're not just stepping into a puddle, you know, you're stepping into a freaking ocean and you know, a lot of people can be very um, intimidated by that, rightfully so, right? But I think when you're in this ocean, you have so much to play with. I think a lot of people just, you know, they look at Shakespeare and they're like, ah, I'm restricted by, you know, this already great material. And you're dealing with all these other things that you're having to factor in, especially as a director. But to see this adaptation and to not only feel as though they did a phenomenal job, but I feel as though they elevated um, a lot of Shakespeare's uh, themes and just emotion, right? Man, that is just incredible work. Incredible work. It's incredibly fun. And it's just able to do something that I think that I haven't really been able to see before, which was just 
combine so many aspects of filmmaking uh, within old context and obviously provide a modern spin to it but again not distract not take away from anything from Shakespeare but only build it you know I love that they played so close to the themes they played so close to the themes they cut out some of the fat I would say um, but it was just so so cool it was stylish it was deep it was fun and because it was all those things when it really mattered when the drama really mattered when the kisses when the you know the, the the pain that you feel really mattered it hits you know the editing oh my god dude the editing was was, was on another level here well the editing was on another level i kind of want to even talk on the editing a whole bunch because you know I'm, I'm trying to focus primarily just on drama and romance but the editing played such a phenomenal job at bridging certain scenes together and making the you know abstract uh and and pretty like you know again distant art of of the dialogue within here that much more uh, closer for us to feel closer to our hearts you know when we really needed to hear a character we heard them we we, we stuck close to their face and we felt the rage we felt the pain we felt the love and that's something that you know like you can you can sometimes only feel during a play right but this was able to really merge that with a different medium and and show itself using the art of filmmaking and all things that are under the umbrella of filmmaking the acting was phenomenal. I mean, obviously, like, what the heck? I mean, this was insane. This was really, really insane in such a great way. And I, again, I'm completely floored by just how well this worked and how cool this was and how much style and the uniqueness. But the fact that it still elevated all of the things that we love about tragedy all of the things that we love about just love and and hate and conflict and just the loss of it you know it's it's the reason why it's ingrained in human nature i mean tragedy is is quite literally baked into our dna and the fact that this film did not isolate that feeling you know did not get carried away with itself with its new medium I think it's so incredible in its own way and so phenomenal. And I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on this. I'm very curious because I've always loved uh, Shakespeare. I always love just plays in general. I always love like just just old text. Um, but I can, you know, at least my experience being in school, um, a lot of people thought it was boring. A lot of people thought that, you know, it was boring and, you know, it was it was outdated and whatever um but i always found the meaning behind it not to say that the meaning was lost on them i mean we were young as heck it, it happens i'm not blaming anybody for that but i love that this film hopefully hopefully i love that this film uh was able to stay true to that and i hope that it was able to bring forth the meaning that I feel like was lost a little bit during those times uh, where people just probably just didn't get the story or didn't get the deeper context or, you know, the the deeper meanings with the tragedy. Um, it's man, it's a beautiful thing. I feel like sometimes it's a, it's a lost cause, um, not a lost cause. That's a little that's a little rough, but it's a lost texture. Uh, nowadays, you know, because we we have so much other stuff now, right? Which is a good thing. I'm not mad about that at all. But man, you know, I'm so happy to be studying this uh, genre of filmmaking. I'm so happy to continue on with drama and romance because, again, it's one of the older pillars of storytelling. It's one of the oldest forms of uh, oral tradition, and there's a reason for that. You know, there's a reason why these stories were told. You know. There's um, there's just so much genetic uh, 
constitution within drama, within romance. And I hope that that's not lost with you guys as well, too. So uh, this was awesome. Again, shout out to the Patreon for recommending this. And I can't wait to just continue with more stories like this because low key, I mean, it's one of my favorite genres. You know, as much as I love sci fi, as much as I love action and a bunch of other things, um, I feel like all those stories can be elevated because of romance because of drama uh and now that older james is you know i always appreciated it but now older james is here i'm able to truly truly um educate and 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 talk about why i feel as though so yeah thou must go and commit <laughs> with the sun because, yeah, uh, your boy is over here, you know, snotty nose and everything. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, when was the first time you watched this? Did you watch this in theaters? How was that experience? I'm curious to know. Um, guys, like always, I appreciate y'all. I hope you had a great time with this watch as much as I did. And I hope that you guys were able to learn a few things. Um, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on just what I was talking about with, you know, oral tradition and um, just stories that predate you know, modern times. And it, again, it was really cool to see modern times uh, uh, merge with something like this. I think it's really, really fun. And I think they did a phenomenal job. Just really blew me away. And I'm curious to hear your thoughts on it down below in the comment section. Guys, stay healthy and stay hydrated because sure as hell I'm trying <laughs> because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches cause they give them free. Just like my time. Pull back in the back seat.